Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the February outlook, general outlook for the sign of Pisces. All right, Pisces, you're up. It's time to do your February general outlook, see what you may or may not be dealing with in February. Now, general outlook is going to be um, whatever the cards say, right? So we're, this, is, this could revolve around your love life, your home life, your family life. It could be about your jobs, your creative ambitions, your desires, your goals. Whatever the case may be, we're going to take a look at it. And just remember, Pisces, that this is only one reading. And, of course, this reading can't be for all Pisces out there. So if it doesn't apply to your situation, just let it go. This reading is not for you, okay? So let's get right into it. Later on, I will be doing a live stream tonight, which is Friday the 24th of an unboxing. So if you want to check that out, you can come back. Two of Cups, nice. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Star Energy, Eight of Swords, wow, oh, and the Devil, interesting. Four of Pentacles, there's that worry about money again. And Seven of Pentacles, there's that reevaluation of really what is it that you're trying to do with your life, right? Um, let me get these a little bit straight for you. Okay, so what a reading, huh, Pisces? Um, bottom of the deck, we have temperance energy. Wow. Well, temperance is associated with, of course, Sagittarius, right? It's the card for Sagittarius, just as uh, the star is the card for Aquarius and the devil is the card for Capricorn. But that's just an aside. It's really more to do with the energies associated with that sign and that card. Your month, right? The center of your month is about love. It's about a love connection. And it's about a desire to live harmoniously. Let's get right into it, Pisces. This month, you uh, in February, it's all about your desire to connect with someone. There's someone that you're in love with or someone that you want to have a deeper connection with. This is a mutual connection. You both enjoy each other. You both, there's a love for each other there. It seems very balanced, but this is certainly the desire to come together. Both of you, are, certainly you are desiring to come together with someone uh, in a really nice love connection, right? The starting of a nice union covered with a six of swords. And so for a lot of you, I think Pisces, this is also not only the coming together of a union, but the desire to sort of have, to make a commitment my, to make a commitment and all of the sort of peace that comes with it. Because Six of Swords is a desire uh, to move towards a harmonious sort of way of living, right? You're kind of moving away from perhaps a lifestyle. It could be moving away from a certain lifestyle. It could be moving away from a certain environment. But it's certainly a desire to move towards a stage in your life or a place in your life that is... Um, that feels good, right? Where you feel sort of uh, confident, you feel relaxed, you feel sort of, uh, you have a nice level of self-confidence and self-esteem. You are not constantly battling with people around you or feeling like you're battling with people around you. It's just a really deep desire to live a much more harmonious and happy life, right? Now to have that covering this two of cups, it's like some of you Pisces this February are really thinking about making a commitment and, um, and all of the sort of peace that comes with that commitment. It almost feels like some of you are kind of changing a lifestyle. It may be that you're coming out of a lifestyle where you never made a commitment or where you were dating a lot, you know, or you had, a, you know, a lot of on again, off again relationships, you know, uh, and a lot of it may have been your, uh, desire not to be sort of tied down. And this, because of the six of swords covering it, it feels to me, Pisces, like this is, this is a reading for a Pisces who wants to change that because you're realizing perhaps that the lifestyle or the environment that you've been in so far without make, being able to make a commitment has been fraught with like nightmares, right? It, it, very difficult relationships, messy relationships, hurt feelings on both ends, and just a general state of unhappiness. 
And I think for some of you, this is the center of your February sort of focus. If you're resonating with this reading, it's this understanding that if you want to have some harmony and some deepness, you know, a sense of depth in your relationship and you want to have a different level sort of a satisfaction in life, then you do have to be willing to make that commitment to the right union, of course. And this is something that you're exploring this month. So, of course, it makes also perfect sense now when we go deeper that we have a Eight of Cups and a Nine of Wands because conscientiously in the focus of your mind, you have Eight of Cups. And Eight of Cups is all about making that decision that you're no longer going to have shallow relationships, you know. Uh, Eight of Cups is when you start to put in boundaries, you start to keep your strength for yourself, but you certainly are putting in boundaries with relationships that You've really put a lot of energy into a lot of times and you get nothing in return, right? These could be sort of shallow relationships dealing. And again, like I said earlier, this feels like intuitively this reading is for, uh, to me, a Pisces that is really coming out of that type of lifestyle of always having a lot of shallow relationships but not being very happy. And so indeed... This month to have an eight of cups in sort of the focus position, right? The position that you're really thinking about this conscientiously, Pisces, right? You're really intentionally saying, wow, you know, I'm just so sick of all these bullshit girlfriends I keep having or these bullshit boyfriends I keep having. You know what I mean? Um, my readings aren't gender specific or orientation specific. Whatever, it, you know, it is, whatever type of person you're dating, it's just like having lots of them, having them on a very shallow level, not getting deeper. And just this whole kind of fed up feeling that comes with Eight of Cups. It feels very like, to me, it feels very much like you're fed up. And in the back of your mind, you have a nine of wands. And nine of wands is really very much about, you know, sort of, uh, I think for you, a lot of you are also facing up to the fact that um, there are your own sort of, you have your own baggage, right? You have your own sort of hangups and baggage that's kind of added to the situation that you've been in. And nine of wands is when we really sort of, um, it's a time in our lives or a stage in our lives where we begin to recognize how, our own sort of uh, modes of behaving or attitudes that we have really impact our relationships and our experience. And so here it feels very much like you waking up to the fact that, well, yeah, maybe I have, you know, I am fed up with all these relationships, but why have I gotten into all these relationships? You know, like what... Um, what issue is inside of me that has gotten me to keep going back to these sort of shallow relationships or at least, you know, uh, sort of filling my life up with them, right? Um, not necessarily a feeling of going back, like breaking up and going back, but just constantly putting up with kind of relationships that don't really give you anything in return. And again, that are, seem to be very sort of messy, very on again, off again, perhaps, or just very... Um, temporary, right? Um, you know, and I think this nine of wands is certainly about this kind of awakening some of you Pisces are having about realizing, well, maybe it's because I fear, you know, commitment because I fear, you know, being hurt in the future or making a commitment and really going all in and then being hurt. And that kind of level of hurt is something I can't bear. So I'd rather not get that deeply committed or that deeply involved right? Um, whatever the case is, right? Nine of Wands is certainly in an understanding, on, a beginning to see your own toxicity, right? Beginning to see your own sort of issues that you have to work out, um, reasons why you may be holding on to baggage that continues to alienate you, right? It's also just the realization that you are now, um, rather than the way, you know, a lot of the things you've held on to, rather than them helping you through difficult situations, now that sort of way of behaving is hindering you. Now it's serving to sort of alienate you. Because you can see him there with the wands all around him, and he's starting to see that, okay, maybe for a little while, I thought these wands would protect me, right? They would protect me from the outside world. Now I'm realizing that all of these wands are keeping me and alienating me from the outside world. You know, this is, you know, this is where, you know, a, a, a wall can so easily turn from something that is protecting us and keeping the outside out or something that is harming us and keeping us away from the outside, right? And so realizing that and waking up to when certain, when that kind of, um, 
when the things that we carry around this turn into baggage, right? When something that we've been using as a crutch turns into baggage, that's when that, you know, that thing has become something that no longer protects us, but now it alienates us, now it hurts us, and this is the understanding you're coming into. Knight of Pentacles and Star Energy, and of course this is the kind of, um, the energy that you have for the entire month of February, because this is your February general outlook. So while you're trying, you're very much intentionally trying to work towards a commitment level here that will get you to where you want to be, you're also working through a lot of these problems here. Coming into the month with the Knight of Pentacles and the Stars, so for some of you, Pisces, you're also coming into this month with a real desire to accomplish a goal for your finance or your career. Knight of Pentacles is really sort of, um, he's unstoppable. He is a slow knight, you know, so oftentimes achieving his goal, the goal that he's, you know, riding towards achieving can take a while for him to get there. But he's the most committed knight in the deck, and he will always achieve his goal, whether it takes a long time or not, or a lifetime, he will arrive at it. And so this month, February, um, Pisces, if you're resonating with this reading, you're certainly coming into the month with a real sense of commitment to your career, to your money-making path. Whatever it is you make for money, you do for money, your business, or your job, whatever the case may be, you are extremely sort of still committed on a particular path to achieve a particular sort of aim. And you round out your month with star energy, and I think throughout February, for some of you, you are also very much increasing your level of inspiration about what it is you want to achieve for your life, right? Because the star talks about those dreams that we have for our life, our lives, right? That ultimate life dream that we have for something. It could be the way we want to live our life. It could be an achievement that we want to manifest in our lives, right? It could be just attaining a certain level uh, in our career. Whatever that is, we have, you know, all of us. And it's not only one thing necessarily, but with the star, we are talking about the type of wishes and desires we have for our lives, which is like those ultimate ones, the ones that we are constantly working towards, right? If we have that. And I think that this month, while, you know, Pisces, while you are also working on this desire to have a much more committed relationship rather than having many sort of casual or temporary or shallow relationships here, right? Just have relationships that just aren't satisfying. At the same time, you're also very much working on your career and sort of um, reminding yourself that you are also, while you are on the goal to a particular objective in your career, you're also wanting to sort of marry that with a goal in your life, right? Like what, like there's a level of inspiration coming in, in the sense that it's bringing you back to star by the end of the month. You know what I mean? It's bringing you back to wanting to have a vision for your life, wanting to have more of a purpose, or an, uh, a real aim or achievement that you're trying to work towards rather than just working or rather than just wanting to, okay, well, I just want at some point in my life be making so much money a, a, a year or whatever, right? Um, when we talk about star, we talk about really sort of honing in on a desire. Like, you know, one day I would like to, you know, get to a level where I own the company and not only am I owning the company, I'm putting out new products based on this technology, blah, blah, blah. Like a real sort of desire for something that you are, you're trying to accomplish or a lifestyle, you know. It can also be a lifestyle in the sense that for some of you it could be like, you know, my goal is that one day I want to live completely off the grid. I want to have a zero sort of carbon footprint or what have you. And that is an example of an ambition you may have for your life that can take a long time to achieve. And so the star reminds us that living our lives are is all about every day working towards that. Now, some, for instance, that living a life with zero carbon you know, footprint, like totally self-sufficient, that doesn't happen overnight, right? But that's an ambition that you may have. So now when we think about you really being much more, if this is an example here, Pisces, for instance, with Knight of Pentacles here, if you're thinking about really being much more uh, committed to a particular goal with regard to your career, and uh, you're resonating with star energy, you could also then be starting to think about, well, how, how do I slowly achieve this level of zero carbon footprint? How do I slowly get there, you know? Do I buy a home that is a certain kind of home? Do I begin to buy certain kinds of products? Do I have to change my lifestyle? Do I have to, you know what I mean? You start to sort of be very intentional 
about on a day-to-day basis or certainly on a very regular basis working towards this ultimate vision for yourself while you're also following your path for your, your career. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm talking about for a lot of you. You're really sort of um, dealing with that this month, right? Now, you're coming into the month also with an attitude of... Uh, Eight of Swords, and you're met with the devil. And so for some of you, it does feel very much like you are feeling like you are right now. You have a lot of triggers around you, it could be. Or you certainly have uh, a lot of temptations around you. For some of you, while you're working towards these goals and these dreams, and certainly while you're trying to come away from these sort of types of relationships, because some of you are real Don Juan's Pisces, like you may have been doing a lot of different dating and stuff, right? So it's quite interesting that you would come into the month with Eight of Swords and be met with Devil Energy, because Eight of Swords is just a little bit of a feeling, Pisces, like you're saying to yourself, yeah, I'm going to try, <laughs> you know, I'm going to try to be committed, you know, or I'm going to try to like sort of have this much more sober, serious life, right, and get away, but um, I can't help myself, you know, this, I think for some of you who do have this a little bit of a victim feeling, like a little bit of a feeling like this is just your nature, it's going to take a while for you maybe to be willing to make that ultimate commitment here that, that we're talking about, right, um, and you're met with the devil in the sense that there's a lot of triggers around you, right, you know what I mean, if, if it could be that you have a lot of people around you, that you have a lot of exes around you, a lot of people that you normally would date around you or whatever, and so changing this lifestyle here is difficult, and I, I, I think I'm laughing, and I shouldn't be laughing, Pisces, but it is quite funny, because it is, you know, I've known people like this, and, um, I have a Mars in Pisces, you know, so I do resonate with Pisces energy. And it does, it feels like to me, like you are really wanting to make a legitimate effort. You know, you really are trying. You really do want to just stop dating and flirting, but you are a sensual person. And so here it's not, it's just not that easy. You know what I'm saying? And it seems that for some of you, it could be that the type of work that you do or the type of career that you have is going to constantly throw you into the sort of, you know, the the dragon's pit in the sense that, you know, it's all around you, right? Um, whatever the excess or the trigger is, is all around you. Nevertheless, you are still committed. And I think with this nine of wands, when we get back to this, this is also an understanding that you have to have about yourself. When I said earlier that you're also waking up to some of the, you know, behaviors, you know, or ideas you have about yourself that you've been kind of using as a crutch, but they really don't serve you. A lot of this is also waking up to, you know, uh, what inside of you is allowing you to be so easily sort of tempted, right, by this environment or so easily sort of led down this road. Because Eight of Swords, coming in with that feeling, it is a feeling a little bit of like, look, I can't help myself, I'm a victim, but Eight of Swords is really toxic energy when it's completely played out. We can resonate with it a little bit, but oftentimes when it's an energy that's coming into us in a reading, when it's an energy that's in a position of coming towards us, it's usually an extremely toxic person, somebody who's a gaslighter or a victimizer, victimizer somebody like who, not a victimizer, but they play the victim all the time, you know? Um, and so... You want to take care with this energy, you know, because it's a real eight of swords is somebody who doesn't really take a lot of responsibility for their decisions. You know, they also blame the rest of the world for their alienation or their inability to make the right decisions, right? And so, yes, we can all be victims at some point or another, but it's a very fine line and it can very quickly turn into playing the victim if you keep wallowing in this energy, right? And so I think that... Um, some of this is waking up to that, right? This nine of wands is really waking you up to some of this about yourself. It could be the Pisces that some of you, you know, you are constantly being tempted here with this devil energy to sort of just have that instant gratification because you tend to sort of maybe, um, not be willing to, uh, take responsibility for your actions, you know, or deal with the guilt. In any case, this is a really personal awakening and journey, and it's really going to depend on you, Pisces, right? These are all just examples that I'm giving of how this energy could play out in your day-to-day -day affairs. Um, but it's really down to you how it resonates or whatever it is that is your trigger, right? Nevertheless, um, the rest still applies. You're wanting to make a commitment and move away from these shallow relationships. You come into a position of your um, 
hopes and dreams and your fears is stability, financial stability. You do worry about your financial stability being threatened. And this is a card that's been coming out a lot for you lately, Pisces. So some of you are also just worried about your financial stability as you're worrying about work this month. And so this is almost like a two-fold sort of love connection month and also a work connection month. And one may impact the other. I did remember this in another reading that it seemed like your ability or your desire to have financial stability was impacting your desire to make a commitment in love. You like you don't feel comfortable making any commitment unless you know you're financially stable. And you round off your month with a seven of pentacles, Pisces, which is a feeling of um, really reevaluating re the work that you're doing and where you're at. And it makes sense because like I said earlier, a lot of you are committing to a certain path, but also by the end of the month, you're kind of also reevaluating that, you know, whether or not that path is ultimately going to lead you towards your ambitions for your life. Right. And so again, this is complimentary. Remember this is seven and this is 17. This is all a part. Seven is the number for dreams and aspirations, right? So it's all a part of sort of you really checking in with yourself and making sure, am I really kind of doing the work that I want to do? Is the job that I have fulfilling? Am I happy in it? Do I need to move, you know, move on or move further or change something about it, you know, so that everything is still in line with my ambition for my life? You know, I, I just, I have an, a desire for what kind of life I want to have, right? And, um, you know, that that's something I have to work towards every day. And if I'm not happy where I'm at now with the Seven of Pentacles, this real feeling of reevaluation, then it's going to be time to perhaps change your path or adjust it, right? Temperance is at the bottom of the reading. Again, as I said I would get back to that. And that's just you really sort of being very methodical with your feelings this month and your passions and really thinking a lot. Pisces about how you want to move forward. Some of you are really, you know, trying to change your life this month from one sort of real lifestyle that you've had for a long time to a different lifestyle that you believe is going to make you happier in the long run, right? Because you're kind of burnt out from the lifestyle you've been living. Princess of Discs, Five of Swords, Princess of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So there's your patience. All right, interesting. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords really talks about um, not playing a role, not wearing masks, not doing, you know, showing the world who we truly are, what we truly are, what we truly desire, and, you know, the release that comes with that. You can see how exhausting it is for the Queen of Swords to have had that mask on. She's like, oh. But now her, heads are, her head is, in the, is free from the clouds. She rises above the clouds, really indicates the clarity that she has about her decision-making processes. It's very, very strong energy right now for you to sort of follow your heart, you know, Pisces. So, Eight of Cups, let's get into your clarifiers, covered by the Princess of Discs, which is the same as the Page of Discs. So you are being extremely practical this month for some of you about cutting off these ties with these individuals. For some of you, you're just going to stop hanging out where they hang out. You're going to stop being around the environment that would take you down that road, right? Whatever the case may be, you're being extremely practical about it. And you're also very much on your career game, your coin game with that Princess of Discs. It's like... Part of what's keeping you away from, uh, and I and I do say this because intuitively I believe this. I feel this reading is for a Pisces that has a lot of relations. A lot of people want to be around them. They may be quite popular in their area or their local area, or they may be popular on a bigger scale, what have you. But you know, they they don't they and they enjoy also being around a lot of people, flirting with a lot of people, dating a lot of people. You know, just having a very decadent sort of love life and lifestyle, which is just fine. But again, here it's it wasn't really making you happy. And so when I say this, the princess of this is being really sort of practical about keeping you. This month, you are in terms of keeping you away from your usual haunts, your usual areas that you party, or you may be hanging out with people or where you'd see a lot of people, uh, and you're working very hard in your career. Nine of Wands is covered with the Five of Swords. So it's interesting, again, that um, remember I said earlier, Nine of Wands talks about you really seeing for yourself like what it is about yourself that has really drawn in some of these relationships or gotten you to the point now where you're feeling like you have to change your lifestyle. And Five of Swords is a real feeling of 
having had a power struggle with somebody who just doesn't play fairly. It could be that um, for a long time you've just felt inadequate or you felt like uh, you needed to make up for something, right? It could be certainly a self-esteem issue. Um, but Five of Swords is definitely a power struggle sometimes with someone where you realize that you just can't keep fighting with them, right? Um, and you kind of throw your hands up. It could be that for some of you, you realize that uh, you have been waging, part of you has been sort of unable to sort of uh, deal with failure or deal with defeat. And what you may be facing up to Excuse me, I have to take a sip of iced coffee. What you may be facing up to is the fact that because you can't deal with criticism or because you've had an issue in the past, perhaps dealing with criticism or dealing with defeat, right, in a way, dealing with, like, you would never just throw your hands up and say and take the high road, like, you can't stand to lose, right? And it could be that this, because this, that's what Five of Swords is all about. And this feeling of just not ever wanting to lose or not ever wanting to sort of give up could be one of the reasons why, uh, it could be something that you're waking up to and one of the reasons why you continue to get into so many of these sort of relationships, right? These temporary relationships, these instant gratification relationships, because you have a difficulty saying no, right? You have a difficulty sort of uh, dealing with what would be considered sort of... Uh, a failure in some way, right? So you just won't say no. You just won't allow necessarily the opportunity for something to fail. So you just get into all these relationships, be quite messy. In any case, um, defeat is the issue here and a feeling of defeat, whatever, how that manifests for you, it could certainly be uh, that internal sort of bug that you're having that has gotten you where you're at. And that just needs for you to sort of face up to it so you can heal. Princess of Cups comes in over that Knight of Pentacles. So this month you are your career and moving forward with your coin and building your coin is also part of your, uh, it's part of your plan to overcome some fear with regard to this commitment, right? So Princess of Cups talks about overcoming the, the fears that we associate with deeper relationships or wanting to connect with other people. And um, it's interesting that, yes, again, money seems to factor in or a feeling of instability in your career. Maybe, again, a feeling of not being, maybe a little bit of self-esteem issues with regard to your is career, your insecurity of how much you've achieved. In either case, this uh, Knight of Pentacles, this desire that you have this month in February to be much more focused on your career is one of the things that is allowing you to sort of get over the fear of making this commitment. You know, this feeling of stability, this feeling of, okay, I'm going to be making more money because I'm working towards a higher goal or I'm taking much more control of my career. All of that sort of, you know, ad adopting this Knight of Pentacles energy really serves to increase your confidence in February. And I think for some of you Pisces, you're going to be feeling a lot more confident to make that commitment or to talk about that commitment or to ex express yourself to someone about finally being ready to make a commitment to them. It could be that this is a connection with someone that has been waiting for a long time for you to make that commitment and now you are ready, right? You've overcome some of that fear and that's really nice. Now, Three of Wands comes in over the start. So by the end of the month as well, you will be forced to sort of exercise a little bit of patience. There's going to be a lot of movement and changes that happen with regard to your job, your finances, your career, the next step. And um, although for some of you, you may be raring to go and excited because Star can bring a lot of inspiration and energy with it. And certainly, like I said, Knight of Pentacles is real sort of... Um, recommitment to your to your job focus as well could make you feel Pisces like you really want to get going on it but you you're forced to pause because three of wands is patience and virtue and it's a card that forces us to sort of slow down sometimes when we really need some other information or event to come in for us you know a meeting that we need to have with somebody or something needs to happen in our lives so that we can make the right decision moving forward so three of wands is how you round your month off it's just going to feel like you just have to be more patient it could be that certain decisions take longer to come in certain documents you're waiting for may take longer to come in anything to do with your work it may just feel like it's suddenly slowed down a little bit 
And that's a lot of times this kind of three of wands energy, which forces you to say, okay, well, since I just can't move forward right now or can't move right now, let me take a moment to at least pay good attention and really soak up everything that's happening right now because I'm standing still for a reason. Right, there's a reason you're standing still. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. This is your reading Pisces for February. I hope you enjoyed it. This is your general outlook. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, you can follow the links on your screen for a private reading. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram at Bow and Arrow Tarot. You can also follow me on Facebook. All of the links are there. But for right now, Pisces, have a wonderful February, and I'll see you March for your general outlook. Bye bye now.